Hey guys, uh, my name's Josh and I'm going to show you today how to sharpen. I got a message on my Facebook inbox that said, how do you sharpen your photos? So we'll go from the start. I manage all my photos through Adobe Lightroom. Um, I just like the way it is, how I can see there's presets on here. If you're in the, div or the library uh, section, you know, you can go through folders on dates and I just find it's very organized program. Uh, so this is my image um, zoomed in here at 100 percent you can see it's already sharp um, the most important thing is that you need to take a sharp image to begin with if your image is out of focus or you're using old glass uh, your image isn't going to be sharp to begin with so I shot this on my 5d with a 24 to 70 so obviously it is fairly sharp to begin with um, now the first thing you can do is on the right side on your develop pane um, you can do the sharpening I normally when I'm doing this I put it at 75 um, some people want more I find that's just too sharp and too grainy um, but anywhere between 50 and 75 is generally a good start um, and that's actually usually enough for me um, but for this I'll take this sharpening off you can also do this in Adobe Camera Raw just through the Photoshop itself uh, you don't need Lightroom to be able to sharpen. It's generally a good idea to sharpen your raw image though, just because it's your raw image, your original image, and you can go back on it if you find it's too sharp. So I'm gonna open this up in Photoshop. Um, if you did make those adjustments, just make sure that you click on edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments if you're not editing your raw file. Uh, it applies it to the image when it opens in Photoshop. Um, if you don't do that, then you won't have your sharpening. So once you're in Photoshop, um, hit F to make it full screen. Um, now when you're sharpening, you want to make sure that you're zoomed into 100%. Um, if you're not at 100%, you're not seeing every last detail and you do notice things that you don't normally notice. So if you're zoomed out at a really small percentage, you're going to go, oh, my picture isn't sharpening that much. Meanwhile, you're getting lots of noise once you blow the picture up and you don't want that. So um, I'm going to duplicate the layer. You don't have to do that. Um, so you go to filter, sharpen, and on sharp mask. So again, I shot this with a 5D. So my photo is 21 megapixels. Uh, when the, the size of your image is important when you're playing with the radius. If you have a very large image, um, edges are going to be a lot thicker, um, so you're going to want to boost your radius up. However, if you're shooting a small image with low megapixels, you can start to see uh, once this process is here. It's trying to sharpen a... Sorry about that, my uh, phone alarm decided to go off. Anyway, it's trying to sharpen a thicker edge. However, obviously I don't have as thick of edges as if I was shooting with a Hasselblad uh, or a phase one camera. So for me, uh, with 21 megapixels, generally 1.2 is good. Um, sometimes I put it up to 1.8, just depending on the image again. Um, but I'm gonna leave it here on 1.2. Your threshold, um, what this does is it chooses uh, how many pixels in a row it's gonna sharpen. So I have it set at three. If I take this down to zero, it, it's gonna sharpen every single pixel. However, three, will sharpen every third pixel if it's uh, similar in tone or color. Yeah. So anyway, I usually uh, leave that at three. Um, you can raise it up or down depending on your preference. Um, now your amount, this is the important number. This adjusts how much you're sharpening. So by default, um, this would be not sharpening at all. So as you can see here, there's nothing being done. You can you can click on and off preview and nothing will happen. Even though it's one, it doesn't change a thing. Um, so you can go up to 100%, so this will sharpen it by 100%. And you can take a look at the main picture and see the difference. I'll turn this off. See, and then turn it back on. So it's made a bit of a difference. Um, if you still feel that's not sharp enough, you can keep going up. 
and then but remember that as you start to sharpen you're going to start to see a lot of noise uh harsh edges you'll see uh just it doesn't look good if you over sharpen i know some people will say a photo can never be too sharp don't listen to those people it can be too sharp so on my 5d a 21 megapixel photo i just stick it at uh, 80% with a radius of 1.2 and a threshold of 3. So I'll click this, or I'll click on this here so you can see the difference. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough. Um, so you click OK, and we'll apply that sharpen. Um, you want to make sure just when you're doing this that your image isn't overly sharp. Like you don't want to over sharpen again, just when you do your final export, uh, your photo won't look as great. You'll say, oh, this is too sharp. And yes, again, there is such a thing. So save your file in Photoshop. Uh, once it's saved, uh, quit Photoshop. And now you're back in Lightroom. So if you edited a raw photo, it'll make a, there'll be a second photo right here. Um, this, is, this is the most important step for me. So I'm going to export this image. So bring up your export, di export dialog box. So pick your name. Um, if you want to put it in a subfolder, put it where you want it. Um, set it as JPEG, 100% uh, quality. If you take it down to 80, it doesn't make too much of a difference. But if you're going for absolute sharpness, leave it at 100%. Um, color space, I leave it at sRGB for output only I don't edit in sRGB but for if you're gonna go to a Walmart or a Loblaws or just your generic 4x6 printer um, they print best on sRGB because their printers aren't able to um, comprehend an Adobe RGB or a Profoto RGB color space um, so I'm gonna leave it at this then you pick your width and height um, always output to how your image is going to be seen. If you're putting it on Facebook or if you're putting it on MySpace, I know MySpace is dead, but whatever. If you're going to be putting it on the web for people to see, um, make it max 640 or 720. I think MySpace or Facebook, sorry, wow, don't know why I said that, uh, is 720. Um, but I'm just going to leave this at 640. It's a good number. So you resize it to fit. Um, and again, if you're putting it on Flickr, you can do full resolution because Flickr does something similar um, to each of one of its sizes, so it will give you a sharp image. Now, this is the important spot. Uh, sharpen your output sharpening. Uh, Lightroom uses a plugin, and I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. I will put it in the box below when I go Google this after because you have to Google everything, and you can find everything on Google. So uh whatever your medium that you're going to be exporting for so in my case this is just going to be for screen um now you choose your amount i like to export high if you find your image um, in lightroom your final image is overly sharp stick this on low it does help a bit but if it's overly sharp and you output it on high your image will be too sharp actually i'm going to change the width so that it's better for you to see and resolution this doesn't affect your image size unless you're printing um, so again if you're printing on matte paper or glossy paper choose those um, it's just the way it, it's the radius and threshold and things beyond my knowledge uh, if you want a watermark go for it so export so you see Lightroom's exporting the image and now you can double click and open in preview. I exported it as my desktop, just made it easier. It's fairly slow today. It's because it's a Friday. So see, here's my final image at 100%. Now I'm zooming in more, but as you can see, it's a lot sharper than the original image, which you can bring up in Lightroom.
side by side. I'll make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So you can see if you look along the uh, the edges here where the light's hitting and his hair especially, you can see where it's been sharpened a lot. All right. So hopefully this helps uh, with the questions of sharpening and uh, have a good weekend.